Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. If you've seen some of my videos, I'm always in my Chef Whites and I'm in my commercial kitchen. Today though, I'm on my boat and I'm going to be cooking one of my favorite meals. I'm going to call this cilantro chicken. If you like cilantro and chicken, you have to watch this video. And I'm going to be cooking this on a Blackstone griddle. Here's how it's done. This is my antique navy boat. I got my cooking audience here. It's built in 1959 for the United States Navy as a communication vessel. It's 55 feet long. Cooking on a boat. Cilantro chicken. These are the ingredients. I have chicken thigh fillets. This is boneless, skinless of course. Two packages. I have a beautiful bunch of cilantro. A head of garlic. The spices, I have marin, which is a sweetened sake. This way you get a little sugar. Soy sauce for the salt and tang. Sea salt. Red pepper chili. That's uh, Korean. You can use whatever. and black pepper. Those are the ingredients. This is the procedure. Okay, this recipe requires a four to six hour marinade. So I'm gonna just get right into this soy sauce. about a quarter cup. The marin. Not quite as much. Maybe about a tablespoon. Sea salt. Liberal dose. And I got some olive oil in here. About a third of a cup. Okay, I, first thing I'm going to do is open up the fillets. You don't have to use fillets, you don't have to use thighs, you can use whatever cut you like. This is dark meat, it's a little fattier, it has more taste to it than white meat. When you buy these, you have to open them up. Don't just throw them into the pot. This way, they all get marinated, all the meat gets marinated. Cilantro. Cilantro is one of those things that you either love it or you hate it. I love it. I'm going to give this a nice little chop and then throw it right on top. 
mix everything up well. Cilantro is pretty much finely chopped up. Now, this recipe is really great because it's full of taste and that comes from all the fresh herbs. Put this in there before it blows away. Garlic. I just cut the top off. Open it up. You can buy the bottle stuff, but it's not the same thing. It's very easy to deal with. What I'm gonna do is just take a pounding hammer, pound it, and take the paper off. It doesn't have to look good. It's not presentation garlic. And I'm just going to go ahead and mince this whole head up, put that in there, throw in the rest of the chicken, and that's the hard work. The fun part is actually grilling it. The garlic is nice and minced up. It's a whole head of garlic. Looks like a lot of garlic. And it is. I don't do wimpy food. So, I'm just going to toss this all around. Best way to do is just use your hands. If you don't like the smell of garlic on your hands, you can use gloves. I just love the smell of garlic in the morning. Okay, I'm going to mix this up a little bit more. Make sure all those spices are evenly coated onto the chicken. Then I'm going to cover it with saran wrap and put that in the fridge four to six hours. Beautiful Rye Plainland, New York. 99 degrees out. Comes another boat in. Another boat. They must not have cooking. Okay folks, I just flipped them over. It has a nice char on one side. Now I'm doing the other side. I'm trying to beat this thunderstorm. So, hope you, hope you like this little video. Oops, wrong way. There you go. It's beautiful. Got a beautiful color to it. It has to look good if it's going to taste good.